Now let's go back to division using a familiar set of manipulatives, the sixes we've already seen. Here we have six taken three times, and here we have three taken six times. Now for a small child or a student again, we can count this side, one, two, three, and we can see that this side is one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, six, and here I see it's six threes. Now you really can see that the multiplication and division are inverse functions. You can see it very clearly. Here I have a rectangle, and here I have a rectangle. The whole rectangle is 18, and on this one we have 6 is contained in 18 three times. Here I have 3 is contained in 18 six times. Once again, that symbol is just shorthand for rectangle. And children can play games where they put the a whole bunch of these different blocks, you know, four sevens, three fives, put them all over the board, and then they pick up the blocks and write underneath. They write the sides and what's inside. This reinforces their multiplication skills and gives them a thorough understanding of the concept of division.